I'm going to Miami. Bonito to, to Miami. I'm going to Miami. Coming down to Miami to do some raw dogging today. I'm coming to Miami. I don't know exactly the whole lyrics of this song. Take me out for some hot dogs. <laughs> but I'm coming to Miami. Yes, raw dogging in Miami. Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood area, Davie, Florida. Got to see the Dolphins practice facility. Sadly, they have no positions for me because they're actually going to be good this year. I mean, uh, about two years ago, I could have probably came down here and been a left guard. I mean, but look at this. Nice little open area. Stands in the middle of a parking lot. And one of them has hot dogs. Coney Island Joe's. New York style hot dogs. So, it's like a piece of New York here in Miami. They have the Sabret hot dogs. This is a place that's inspired by New York because you know, New York and New Jersey are truly the capital of hot dogs. I mean, you can't get a better hot dog than New York. New York is where hot dogs are invented. They're invented out on Coney Island. This place is Coney Island Joe's, which is inspired, inspired by a place that used to be in Brooklyn for 70 years named Coney Island Joe's. And this place was great. This place was fantastic. And then someone came in and ruined it. But this carries the torch, it carries on the name, Coney Island Hot Dogs. Let's give a taste test and see if they do measure up to the New York style hot dog. I've been in this spot 21 years. I've been using the same hot dogs and natural tasting only. I will not use a skinless hot dog. All right, I'll take one grilled dog and one boiled. And both of them plain, nothing on it. The grilled dog. Want some to drink? Yes, I'll take a uh, some kids zero sugar. Thank you so much. All right. Have a nice day. Do the same. Now this place, Coney Island Joe's, here in the Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, South Florida area, they are basic. They're not fancy. These are the basic hot dogs. The, the hot dog that built the hot dog industry. And they use subrettes. So they are almost like getting a New York style push cart hot dog. And that's what this towel is. This is the push cart variety. And uh, he, ne he uses all natural casing, never the skinless hot dogs. And all beef. And we're gonna give this a try. This is a throwback. This place is a throwback. He's been here for 21 years. He comes from New York. He knows what New York hot dogs are supposed to taste like. And I bet you there's not many places down here in uh, South Florida where you can get that from. This is a triple hot dog. Very good. What the street parts used to taste like. When you go to a streetcar today, you rarely find the one to have this good snap anymore. They've all gone to the cheaper hot dogs, the last quality dogs, and they don't know how to cook them. This guy, he does. And he knows just how a push cart hot dog should taste. And this is a true push cart hot dog. This is what when you walk down the street in New York, this is what you want to find. I need to wash this down. And you know what goes good with hot dogs? Orange soda. 
And it's hard to find diet orange soda, and I should drink diet soda. Tim, come on. I've lost 100 pounds in the last year, and I hope to lose uh, even more. And a good way to do that would be to have some diet sodas. And uh, Sunkist, who, is make, who makes the best orange soda, I give Sunkist regular orange soda like a 9.2. And I, I would even maybe even stretch to a 9.3. Maybe it's 9.25, if you will. But we'll see if the diet orange soda measures up. So this is a bonus soda review in a hot dog review. It's a good soda. It doesn't have the normal like wow factor of a Sunkist, but it's good. It's better than Crush. I'm gonna give this an 8.7. And now they also have a little grill in there for the people who like the grilled hot dogs. You know the little the little meteor hot dogs, and that's what these hot dogs are. These are grilled, and it's and, and it's got a good char. Got a very good char. And of course, we don't put anything on it. No condiments, it's a raw dogging, of course. And this place is. I like that grilled dog. Are you tasting it? And this place has good char marks. It's got a good seal. Let's see how this tastes. I will also give this a triple. It's excellent. I don't know how many more places like this in South Florida there are. But this place could definitely compete with the places in New York. And just think about that. You buy two hot dogs, you have all that, and they give you a bag of chips. So it's all that and a bag of chips. Ah, uh, the sunshine, the heat, the sea air that all says Miami. And you know, it's not like New York where hot dog places, you trip over them. But we have one place that takes New York down to Miami. And it does taste like I was in New York today. I mean, I would, if you blindfolded me, I would think these hot dogs came from New York. And that's a good thing. Believe me, when you've been to Florida and have some hot dogs, that is a very good thing. So, where should I go next? Give me some suggestions. Comment down below. Also, buy my shirt. Go to the Barstool store, and you could be raw dogging yourself. Click like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave some comments down below of where I should go next. Until next time, keep raw dogging. And remember, if it's not a raw dog, it's a dead dog. Ow! Take me out for some hot dogs. Get me one that's only plain. No mustard or horror ketchup. I'll know what the dog is really about. And it's hope that this is a good one. Maybe a home run or a double. But if it sucks, it will be a strikeout and not worthy of my taste buds. <laughs>